Hey guys, Jordan Harrell here at 1092 Studios in Nashville, Tennessee. Today we're going to be quantizing in Pro Tools. We're going to make sure a kit aligns to a click. Well, here we are. I have a kit imported here from a previous session. On that day we recorded all the players playing to a click. And uh, they did a good job. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quantize all of the tracks in this kit uh, at the same time non-destructively using Pro Tools Elastic Audio feature. So to begin, put your kit in a group. I've done this. I've labeled it kit. You label it whatever you want. Um, I'm going to play it with you, for you, not with you, to the click so you can hear what it sounds like unaltered. So pretty good. Starts off a little off beat, but then finds the beat very quick. Um, so first things, let's go ahead and highlight it. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that it's on ticks, not on samples. Um, if you have the group highlighted, changing one will change all of them, as any group feature works. Um, it's usually on the blue clock samples, change it to the green metronome ticks. After that, we're going to go into the elastic audio. Polyphonic would be for any harmonic instrument like a piano. Uh, rhythmic is what we're going to use. Monophonic would be a bass line, a vocal line, but because we're doing drums, we're doing rhythmic. Once you have that, you're going to go into Event, Event Operations, Quantize. This opens up the Quantize menu. Um, if you don't want it exactly to a grid, if you don't want it to sound like a robot playing, uh, then you can, you can adjust the swing, the strength of the Quantize, and uh, basically create your own groove. Um, but for now, I'm just going to do it the easy way. And watch, before I click apply, watch it. And it just moves everything. And like I said, it is non-destructive. So if I just Command Z it, if I undo it, I have my original right there. Um, so let's listen to it. Pretty cool. It puts it right on the beat. Um, if there were any anomalies or something that Pro Tools didn't read correctly, uh, you could just go here to the warp and you could adjust anything that Pro Tools might have missed. Um, you can do that by double clicking these arrows, which removes them and then dragging whatever, wherever, into the place that you wanted it to be. Thanks for watching. Check out our other videos and subscribe to us as well as MixNotes.tv. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and as well at 1092studios.com.